All right, we're being joined by one of the big winners from Saturday night's event in Jacksonville, Florida. It took him a little over 90 seconds to put away Anthony Hernandez. Back in the win column is the trailblazer, Kevin Holland. How are you, man? Doing good, doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. You don't even look like you've been in a fight, man. Nah, mm, you know, a little on Steve. I don't think <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a hell of a, uh, of a performance on Saturday night. First finish of your UFC career. How does it all feel less than 48 hours later? Uh, it feels pretty good. You know what I mean? Um, the chance for getting a fight in two weeks. So, you know, back at the gym today, you know, just happy to get there. There you go. I'll admit it. I know I'm not alone here because the odds makers looked at it the same way. I thought this is sort of a coin flip fight on paper because Anthony is a very tough guy. He was coming off a submission win in his last fight, and you went in there and delivered that performance that people have been waiting to see from you since you got into the UFC. I mean, of course, getting the win is top priority, but how important was it for you to go in there and make a statement like you did on Saturday night? Uh, it was pretty important. You know what I mean? Definitely wanted to make a good statement, but I think overall, you know what I mean? Just wanted to go out there and be a vintage Kev. You know, I didn't want to, didn't want to do too much. Didn't want to do too little. I wanted to go out there and kind of like my back in my XKO days. I wanted to perform, you know, and do you, that was tight. <laughs> do you, do you, uh, do you pay attention to like the outside noise at all? Because it seems like everybody has been universally high on you and everyone felt like, you had a, a ton of potential and everyone felt like the type of performance that you had on Saturday, that you had that in you. And then you finally let it out on Saturday night. Is that something that you pay attention to maybe for a little extra locker room material or anything like that? Yeah. I, I mean, I see everything, you know what I mean? Uh, I see it all. I, I go through all the comments and stuff, you know what I mean? I, I have a good time with it, but uh, ultimately nah, you know what I mean? It's, what I was going to do is what I was going to do. You know what I mean? It wasn't too much, stressing anybody else I, I knew what I wanted you know I wanted a quick check that'd be nice so went ahead and tried to get the quick check and it, it happened you know it was like uh he wanted to test cardio so I was I mean I was prepared to do what we had to do but you know if I can get the fight over with quick let's do it speaking of having fun talk about two totally different demeanors heading into that fight like even on Saturday you walk to the cage loose as a goose you're smiling you're dancing you're singing you're having a good time and then Anthony comes out looking intense Looked to have been staring you down the entire time. How would you describe that feeling of making that walk and preparing to get locked in a cage for upwards of 15 minutes? Like, what goes on in your mind? Let's have fun. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a party. I'm, you see, I'm dancing. I'm, I'm jigging. I'm, I'm uh, ultimately, I just, I like it. Yeah, I really, really love fighting. So it's, it's, it's no stress to me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, I'm about to get my check. Let's go. You know, <laughs> so I'm happy. You know what I mean? I. You never know how the fight's going to turn out, you know, but you always hope that it turns out something like that. So, I mean, for it to turn out the way it turned out, I was happy with it. You landed that beautiful knee to the body that set up the finish of the fight. Was there something in the preparation that led you to believe that the body would be a big target for you? Yeah, I got a teammate, you know, when he starts to cut a lot of weight or when he starts to slim down too much, his, his body gets a little, uh, a little softer than usual. And uh, to me, they were built the same. So I was like, I got a feeling the body would be soft. And so uh, we've been going over the elbow and to the knees. And so uh, vintage Muay Thai type stuff with a lamb track consistent twist. You know, you put that little angle on it after you get it done. So uh, through the elbow, kind of cut the angle a little bit through the knee to the body. I thought my second knee would do it. You know what I mean? I thought it was going to have to be a couple of reinforced knees. But the first knee, I heard him go. Ugh! And so I just followed up with a combo. You know what I mean? A couple knees. And then he was going down. So I was like, strike it out. You know what I mean? Just keep pounding. And uh, ref pulled me off, and I was like, dang, I didn't even talk. I didn't slap him. You know what I mean? I didn't do none of my signature things, but it's all right. It's a check. You know what I mean? I like the checks. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign now. Just You don't have to say anything or slap anybody. You just get quick checks and move on to the next one. You know, honestly, I like it because it's like um, the clout. You know what I mean? Get a little clout when you finish people like that. I was at like 7K on Instagram. You know what I mean? Now I'm at like 11. I'm like, ooh, look at all these honeys in my inbox. Let's go, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> and now you've got all these Johnny Come Lately reporters coming out trying to talk to you, I bet. I've been talking nah. to you for a while, so I don't consider myself that kind of a nah, guy. No, nah, no, nah. You know, I don't I only do interviews if my manager tells me to. You know, I, I like when I first got in UFC, I was like, I'll take any interview. And he was like, No, 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 no. Only do the ones I tell you to do. So if they're not hitting up Warren, you know what I mean, or hitting up my boy, you know what I mean, Justin Adams, I'm not, I'm not doing it. You know, you I, I get in trouble. You know, I don't want to get cussed out by my manager. So sorry. Okay. That's what you gotta <laughs> do, man. Yeah. It's uh, 
there's a lot of talk about fighting in an empty arena, but you fought on the contender series in 2018. So this is, and this is before the apex and the bleachers were full of people. So fighting in an empty arena wasn't a huge change for you, I'd assume. No, I mean, ultimately it almost felt like a street fight. You know what I mean? You got in there and it was like, nobody. It was like, when he pulled me off, I was kind of thinking like, oh, like I, at first I didn't think about the ref. Like when he first went to touch me, I really wasn't thinking about the ref. You know what I mean? It's kind of like got locked in. And then like, when he like pulled me off, I was like, Oh, the cops are pulling me off. Like, I'm in trouble. <laughs> for you know what I mean? Then I realized, like, no, no, we're in the fight. We're in the fight. We're good to go. Uh, I like it like that. You know, it was old school. Let's do, let's do it that way. I like it that way. It was good. Does that happen to you before? Uh, yeah, you know, been a lot of street fights. You know what I mean? You're a kid, you get in a fight at school, security guard touches you. I mean, you don't stay there. You try to run. Ah, oh, they don't know who I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, it was nice. I liked it a lot. What did you think of the overall fight week experience during a, a global pandemic, the testing sort of being sequestered to, to one location overall? What was that like for you? Test in the nose. I hated that. But uh, overall, I uh, I thought it was cool, man. You know, I we were a little isolated. We don't have to worry about random people in the lobby trying to take pictures and stuff. I mean, that's dope. But I mean, that's what that's what the mock way ends. You know, when we go do it for the people, that's what that's for. You know, that's what five weeks or four and stuff like that. Certain days are for that. But sometimes when you're walking through the lobby, you know, you just want a place to relax. You know what I mean? You don't want to be stuck in your room the whole time. So I liked it. And I enjoyed the whole experience. I like it either way. I mean, to me, it really doesn't make a difference. You know what I mean? If we get a little peace, we get the peace. If there's a lot of people, we get a lot of people. Me personally, coming off a loss, I mean, I wanted to just zero in. And I zeroed in. And then, you know, I get to see what I could be like inside the UFC if I zero in. And it was nice. Do you feel like a different guy now? Do you feel like the momentum has swung in your favor and that you're kind of on this rocket ship, so to speak? I mean, I don't know yet. It's just one fight. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's gonna be like three or four in a row, you know? So that's more so what I'm worried about. You know, one fight, I don't really feel like it makes a big difference. You know, I'm still coming off a loss, you know? So it's like, I still got choked out. You know what I mean? I finished a guy. I finished a guy that beat a guy that beat me. You know what I mean? That finished me. So it's like, it's good, but... It's not good enough. You're not letting yourself get too excited. You're happy with the win, ready yeah. to come back in two weeks, but we're not going to get too excited yet. Yeah, yeah. If I can come back two weeks, you know, against Mickey Gall, you know, and I beat Mickey Gall, I feel like that makes up for it. You know what I mean? Uh, we could argue who has better jiu-jitsu, you know, Allen or Gall, you know. So I feel like I feel like that'd be dope, you know, and it's like, uh, I mean, damn, wouldn't that be wonderful if I submit Mickey Gall? You know what I mean? Everybody's like, you're going to knock him out what if, I, if I tap him out. So... That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> so what's the latest on this potential quick turnaround for you? I will say that I was uh, texting back and forth forth with Oren, uh, Odin on Friday or on Saturday during the fight. And I was like, damn, what a, what a great win. Yeah. And we were kind of talking because I was like, is there, is it, could he actually come back and fight again in two weeks? And he basically gave me a smiley face emoji and, and here we are. So how real is this? Is there is something in the works here? Yeah. So I think it's in the works. So if we get, you know, Mickey Gall, you know, if he accepts the fight, you know what I mean? That's dope because, you know, I'm going to accept the fight. Um, I'm really in the fight. But if he doesn't, you know what I mean? In two to three weeks, they need somebody to go again. It's like if something happens with the Vittori fight, you know, I know I'm supposed to be committed to the 170 thing right now. But it's like, like I said, if something happens with the Vittori fight, I want Marvin Vittori. You know, it's like it's probably not the smartest fight to take, but he's running his mouth. So for me, it's the smartest fight to take if it comes around. I'll take it, you know. So uh, whatever the wind blows. I would love to take the Mickey Golf fight. But Vittori, kind of feel like he's a dumb fighter. So, yeah, it'd be, be a fun fight. So, like, what happened? I mean, you you got a little heated at the post-fight talking about Marvin. Um, and you you sort of got into why you were, were so upset with him. But, you know, you called him a name that I'm not really going to say here. But, you know, what what's sort of the antithesis of how this all came to be? Like, why are you I called him a cat and snake, right? Called him a cat and a snake. Let's put it that way. I called him yes. a cat and a snake. Uh, first and foremost, he, he shook my hand. You know what I mean? He shook my hand down in the lobby. We talked about fighting. I told him I'd be down to fight Wednesday, and then I'd be down to turn around and fight uh, Saturday night. You know? And if that wasn't the case, you know what I mean? I said, if they're down, to make it a tournament base. You know what I mean? Like a tournament format, and I'll fight you. You know, I'll fight you. Um, try to make, get this camera back right. There we go. I'll fight you, you know what I mean, a couple times. You know what I mean? Like, however we got to do it, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to make it so that way you get your fight, you get a chance to make show and win money, or you can just take your show. I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to help you out. Um, so we talked. 
you know, it was a good conversation. I thought it was really respectful. I thought it was nice. Then he went upstairs. I guess he dropped something on Instagram talking about he's babysitting these guys. We're a bunch of babies. He's putting us in a stroller. And then he said he's going to put me in the stroller because I turned down a fight with him. And I'm like, you know, I'm like trying to figure out, like, when did I turn down a fight with you? You know, and he's like, oh, you turned down a fight with me April 18th. So I'm kind of upset, like, bro, we just shook hands. We just had a good man-to-man conversation. And then you're going to go and you're going to do some, like, weird shit on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like, little, you know what I mean? So I was like, all right, that's 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 where I say the cat part. You know what I mean? Because you, you had anything to say, you could have just said it to my face. You know what I mean? You're right there. And then Snake, because once again, you shook my hand and then you went upstairs and you did that. So it's like, I don't know, I just feel disrespected as a man. And then you came down in the lobby after I won the fight and you're like, trying to touch me and ask me if I'm healthy and stuff. And it's like, bro, I, I told you, you know what I mean? I told the whole organization, we can run two fights one night or you can let me fight Wednesday and you can let me fight, you can let me fight Saturday. You know what I mean? Like I left the fight with no injuries. You know what I mean? I didn't get hit. I was, I knew what I was coming to do. You know what I mean? I was coming to collect the check. I was on some Donald Cerrone type stuff. I was cowboy. You know what I mean? Let's giddy up the z Let's go, whatever the case was going to be. And uh, I was ready. You know what I mean? I liked it the way it was going to go, but it didn't happen like that. So we'll see. You know, I still want Marvin So it seems like Vittori, from, from everything that I've heard, Vittori and Roberson looks like they're going to run that one back at a later yeah, date. Makes, makes sense. You know, it makes sense. But, you know, if something happens where Mickey Gall just happens where he just, he's too scared to fight or he has, you know, something going on, you know what I mean? I don't know. You know what I mean? I haven't heard nothing back yet. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I called him out in the cage. You know, I'm pretty sure he was watching the fights. So I thought I'd get a tweet right then and there or something. You know what I mean? It's like, can't do that. You know, I mean, I mean I'm already ready for 185. You know what I mean? Can uh, can Marvin Vittori cut weight in two weeks again? You know what I mean? I don't know. He was drinking in the lobby. You know what I mean? Maybe his body can't handle it. He was trying to fight at 205. You know, and it was like, it was weird. You know what I mean? It's like, you could have you could have campaigned hard for me that day. But instead, you're campaigning hard for Neil Magny at, at 205. And he's a 170-pound guy. It's like, cat. <laughs> <laughs> did did, has the UFC expressed interest in the golf fight? Have they approached you with it, it for that date or just kind of going by the call out on Saturday? I mean, I kind of, you know, called him out for a reason. You know, so, I mean, I would like that fight. I think they would like that fight. It's just... No matter of whether God's gonna take the fight or not, because you know, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I ain't heard nothing yet. So, I mean, like I said, if it was me, I was watching the fight. Somebody said my name, I'd have been like, "Hey, tweet him." I don't, I don't run my Twitter, so I'd have told my manager, "I'm like, hey, tweet him, let him know." Like, you know what I mean? I want to fight, but I ain't seen that yet. So, so you're just waiting. Kind you're verbally agreed on your side, just waiting yeah. on an agreement from his side. What kind of questioning the boy? You know what I mean? Let me know if I gotta eat salads or if I can go ahead and eat steak. You know what I mean? Just let me know. Have you been impressed with what he's done? I mean, he's had some ups and downs. He's he's a young guy. He doesn't have the experience that you have, but you know, he's he's gone through the ringer. He's trying to to learn and get better in this game, like you are. What have you made of what he's been able to do so far in his career? I mean, props to him. He's fighting in the UFC, it's the toughest organization in the room. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of my fights are outside the UFC, so it's like, you know, let's just. I guess we could just calculate what we've done to opponents that are in the UFC or what we've done in the UFC. So up and down just as well as him. You know what I mean? It's like his wins are based off submissions. My losses are based off of submissions and people trying to hunt me usually. So it's like, I think it's a good fight for him. And I think it's a good fight for me as well to test myself. And at the same time, let's be honest, I'm light years ahead of him on the stand up. So it's like, he's going to have to shoot. He's going to have to die for the legs. You know what I mean? And I respect that because I know that's what he's coming into. So... Take the freaking fight, boy. <laughs> so as we're recording right now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that you'll be fighting on May 30th? I'm 50-50 right now. I'm 50-50 right now. You know what I mean? Maybe May 30th, maybe the week after, if there's a fight card the week after. You know, I mean, maybe tomorrow at the gym, if Marvin Vittori wants a plane ticket out here, I'll pay for it. You know what I mean? It's like, who knows? You know, I want smoke. I know that much. I want to fight. Speaking of checks, no offense to anyone else who got bonuses on Saturday night, but you got the quickest finish of the night. Were you pissed that you didn't get an extra 50000 bucks? No, because we were talking about fighting again in two weeks. So I was like, hey, if I get to fight again in two weeks, you know what I mean? Or two to three weeks, 50K, I ain't worried about it. You know what I mean? That's a new contract. You know what I mean? That's that's a, a bigger name. That's a, a better spot in my life. I mean, 50K is nice, but it's not just about the money. 
You know what I mean? It, I really, really like the fight. So 50K would have been nice. I could help grandma and pop move out here. You know what I mean? Try to get him a house. But I mean, 50K ain't just enough for a house. I'd have to get 50K two times in a row. So maybe if they gave me 50K for that fight and then I can go do what I'm about to do again, then, you know what I mean? Two 50Ks in a row, that would have been, you know what I mean? That would have been nice. Yeah, that would have been nice, but it's all right. You're cool with it? <laughs> yeah. So perfect world. You get back in a few weeks. Let's mm -hmm. do this thing. Let's get right back on the horse. And, uh, you know, as you know, and it's only been one fight, but momentum is a big thing in this sport, as you know, and you seem to have it right now coming off that big win over Anthony Hernandez. I appreciate you giving us so much time, Kevin. Anything else you want to get off your chest before we wrap this up, sir? Any shout outs or anything like that? You know what? I'm not going to do all that because my phone, you know, I keep doing the tilt thing, but I'm going to say this right here, right now. I'm going to get my own Skype and I'm <laughs> going to get me a laptop. And I'm going to give me a little platform where we can set the laptop up and we're going to have a little, we ain't going to be, you know, we ain't, ain't going to be worried about that no more. See what I'm saying? I messed it all up. We ain't going to be worried about that no more. I got <laughs> it. Next time we'll get this right. All right, man. And we, hopefully I can be the first one. We can knock this thing out like the, man, like I, the good old I'm days. i have Orrin text you as soon as I get a laptop. There you go. I love, I love your attitude right now. Yeah. Congratulations on the win, Kevin. Thank you for the time. Hopefully you get that fight with Mickey Gall. I would actually uh, be very interested to see how that one would play yeah, out. So thank Mickey you for the time. Gall, take the fight so I can get a laptop. <laughs> I'll text him right now. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Thanks, man. Take care. You too.